We have looked at the binomial distribution as a special discrete distribution. The next discrete distribution that we will look at is the Poisson distribution. And we will start with an example. Consider an intersection of two busy streets. If we define a random variable x as the number of accidents in a 24-hour day, then we can say that x follows the Poisson distribution. Now, what are the properties of a Poisson experiment? The number of successes that occur in any interval is independent of the number of successes that occur in any other interval. So the interval in our example will be a 24 hour day and the number of successes, which in this case will be the number of accidents, the number of accidents today will not influence the number of accidents tomorrow or in a week's time. Then secondly, for intervals of the same size, the probability that a success will occur is the same. So this implies that the probability for an accident today is the same as the probability for an accident tomorrow or in three days time. And furthermore, the success probability is proportional to the size of the interval. So the probability for an accident in a week will be a bigger probability than the probability for an accident in a day. And then lastly, the probability that two or more successes will in occur in an interval approaches zero as the interval becomes smaller. So this just means that the occurrence of a success is a rare event. It's not something that happens all the time. So hopefully the occurrence of an accident is also a rare event. We don't expect it to happen every few minutes. So a Poisson random variable indicates the number of rare events that occur in a given time interval or in a specified region in a Poisson experiment. So we are counting the number of successes, rare events, in a specified time interval, like in our example, the time interval is a 24-hour day, or in a specified region. We can express the probability distribution in formula form. So for the Poisson distribution, we have only one parameter mu. And we can write the probability distribution as e to the minus mu. And the e function you can find on your calculator times mu to the x divided by x factorial. And you can see that your x can take on the value 0, 1, 2, but there's no upper limit, so it can go on and on. Now, what is the meaning of this parameter mu? Mu is the average number of successes occurring in a specified interval or region. And the interval specified in the definition of x and mu must be the same size and expressed in the same units. So we defined x as the number of accidents in a 24-hour period or in a 24-hour day. Therefore, mu should give us the average number of accidents in a 24-hour day. Okay, so the Poisson distribution has only one parameter, namely mu. What is the effect of this parameter on the shape of the distribution? Okay, so here we have a Poisson distribution with um, parameter 1.2, so the average is 1.2. And you can see that it gives us a distribution that is skewed to the right. If I increase this parameter, my distribution becomes more symmetrical. I can increase it even further. And here you can see a distribution with a parameter of 16.4. The shape of this distribution is very symmetrical. Okay, so to get back to our example, if x is the number of accidents at the intersection in a 24-hour day, suppose now from historical data that we know that the average number of accidents in a 24-hour day is 1.2. 
then we can say that x follows a Poisson distribution with parameter 1.2. And a visual presentation of this distribution is also provided on this slide. We will next then see how we can calculate probabilities for our random variable x if x follows a Poisson distribution.